Hey guys, if you're one of those people who, you know, created a bunch of blogs after ChatGPT came out and published it on your website, there is a problem that you should know about. So there are tools now in the market that will detect if your content was created using ChatGPT or GPT, any GPT engine, right? Or basically any AI based content writer. Now, um, my, my gut is that this uh, detector kind of understands the text. Uh, the language in which the text has been written and then kind of infers if uh, the text was written by a machine or a person. Now um, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to bypass that check. So the content that you generate using ChatGPT at least moving forward or the content that you've already generated using ChatGPT in the past, uh, you can use this method in order to ensure that in the future when Google implements you know methodology in place where it is detecting AI content and reducing the rank of that content you will be able to uh, if not bypass at least do better in those regards um, so I'm going to walk you through this let's first do this right so let's tell uh, chat GPT to generate content for us they act as a content writer and write a blog post on his AI content fake content a uh, number of words to the 100 target audience to the mm, students we tone as professional now uh, note that this is not my first video on generative ai tools if you're interested in knowing what is generative ai how it works then feel free to check my other videos out specifically uh, if you want to understand how uh, how to generate you know ai avatars using stable diffusion i have a video on that 10 chat gpt prompts product managers should use what is generative ai and then very recently text to music which was a research web page released by google so i've walked you through that as well so check those videos out if you're interested in generative ai or the tools uh, that enable you to generate content or uh, automate content using generative AI per se. But let's now ask chat GPT to write a blog on this regards and let's see uh, what it throws out. By the way, this was going to happen sooner or later while content such as while tools such as chat GPT allow you to create content real quickly there are obvious fallbacks or drawbacks of this uh, this approach a lot of the content that comes in now may look like human like uh, but really really does not add any value to the end user so it kind of destroys the whole purpose of creating these blogs to help your end users which enable google to ensure that your discovery is better but if Tools like ChatGPT automate the whole content creation process. It's problematic not only for Google, but also for the users who are now searching on content for Google and which in turn impacts the way Google uh, people, you know, kind of come to Google in the first place. Right. So if I'm a user, I uh, want to search for a blog post that enable me to enables me to detect AI content right so if the entire content is written by AI and it's very generic it's not going to add any value so in turn I'm not going to come to Google for it so it's a real problem for Google which is also why uh, the whole AI content detector thing may blow up in the near future now so the content is ready let's just cool which is writer.com's AI content detector and I pasted the same thing here and you can see that 12% uh, is the human generated content which is very less which means more than 85% is generated by AI so like how do you bypass this how do you ensure that this is at least 70 to 85% uh, when it comes to the blog post per se right so you go to this um, website called so you go to this website called Quillbot and then you paste the content here remove the for now i'm going to remove the extra words and then what we'll do is we'll paraphrase this okay. 
so now you copy this content and you paste it here then you analyze it you can see the human generated content is now 93 percent merely by paraphrasing the content that was generated by AI let's try it for another blog Okay, basically what I'm asking is will paraphrasing something make this more human like right so it's again nothing special here with paraphrasing is merely a way to uh, reword a piece of text in your own words right so obviously the answer is not no it will not make it more human like in fact it will make it make it more confusing for the end user because now the user has to read it very uncomfortably but uh, you know speaking from the perspective of the content being gen detected as AI content it will definitely uh, reduce the probability there now let's take this these two paragraphs and I don't know if I can continue to use it in the free plan but paste it here and now we analyze the text oh it looks like it's generated by humans we need to take the paragraph okay so if you um you know if you like i don't know why it detected higher human generated content for the early one but if you add the whole thing so my understanding also is that what it's doing it's looking at these keywords however it is worth noting and it's looking for repetition in the paragraph if you've seen if you generated a lot of content using ai you will see that ai usually keeps repeating between the paragraphs the same thing between the paragraphs and i think that's what the engine itself is using now you copy this text and you paste it here again it's way more words than necessary so i'm going to remove these words and i'm going to paraphrase so it changed the short response short answer to quick response while paraphrasing all the paraphrase okay let's copy and paste this content here and see what where we are now it's hundred percent human generated content let's do one final one okay i think it will never write a hundred word blog post but let's see if it it can put something together the reason i'm doing 100 plus uh, 100 word is that i don't have a paid plan for either of these tools and my goal is to show you how you can bypass this check so it doesn't matter the number of words at least you know the methodology now in which you can bypass uh, your content being detected as ai content again my gut is that however is where majority of the issue is popping out so if i paste it here i analyze it so it's six percent human generated content i take the same text here i paste it here again the issue is that i don't have a premium plan here so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna paraphrase okay now you copy this you paste it here again and you analyze it 94 percent generated by human so i think these are the two tools now again you don't need to specifically use these tools uh, you can find any tools online right so effectively what you need to do is para paraphrase your uh, blogs before you upload it on the internet it will bypass the ai content detector check for now but in the future if there are tools that can also detect paraphrasing then we will have to figure something else out but for now i think these two checks uh, especially the paraphrasing check should be able to get you there i hope this video was helpful uh, if yes consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on this video uh, share this across with a friend who might benefit from this and i'll continue seeing in the, and i'll continue seeing you in the next one thank you so much